So for anybody that spends any time in the outdoors, there came that very special moment when probably a parent or a grandparent or an aunt or uncle gave you your first knife. Ah, oh, it's like that day you get your first knife, you're like, oh, yes, this is it. But I think back to myself and I talk to a lot of my instructors, when you get your knife for the first time, so many times it's a folding pocket knife. And back in the day, I'm gonna say just the 80s because that's when I was born, we didn't have all these fancy locking blades and stuff like that. They were just the old school friction held open pocket knives. And there's literally this stigma out there for so many people that we're gonna give a kid a pocket knife because it's safer. I don't know if that comes from because it's closed and they can't run around with it or because they feel that the blade's smaller. But so many times, even at classes, and I have so many people reach out to me and say, hey, I'm gonna give my son or daughter or grandson or granddaughter their first knife, what kind of knife should it be? Folding knife, fixed blade, what should it be? And honestly, there's no specific answer to that. Um, with my son, I started him on a fixed blade, but that doesn't mean that was the right or the wrong thing to do. I thought it was gonna be a little bit easier for him to get started. But when I did give him a folding knife for the first time, we had to go through a couple safety tips. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna talk about safety tips that you can share with people if you decide to give them their first folding knife. Okay, so before you even hand the knife over itself, we need to go over, of course, the, the blood triangle, circle of death, all that good stuff. So make sure that you go over knife safety first and foremost. We're then gonna follow up by explaining to them all the different parts of the knife, what the blade is, where the point is, what the spine of the blade is, the body of the knife, all that good stuff. Again, you need to remember these people never used a knife that might be their first time, so you gotta go over this. Even if they're not listening that well, still go over it. Now, once all that's covered, it's all about opening the knife. My suggestion, depending on the age of the person, is to start out with something like the can opener on the knife. That is going to work out really, really well because it's gonna be very low risk that they're gonna cut themselves or hurt themselves with that and it's gonna give them a good idea of how to actually open the knife up. But since we're a little bit more advanced and a little bit older, I'm gonna start with the blade itself. So tell them to grab the knife, grasp one side, keeping their fingers away from where everything opens up on the knife and then grab the blade itself. We're then going to take the blade with the other hand and we are gonna to begin to open it up. We're gonna continue this process away from us totally opening up the blade that it is away. At this point, this is what it should look like in their hands. At that point, they can remove their left hand or their right hand, depending on whatever is non-dominant, and their knife is good to go. So very self-explanatory, but it's important that you walk people through this. Now, once the knife's open, the two biggest things that I like to tell people is number one, this knife needs to always be gripped like a fist. Okay, we never wanna put our thumb up on the blade. The reason why is when we start to do this, if we ever slip and we're putting immense pressure here, you can see that that blade is starting to move. Down that blade would come and cut me wide open. Now in the same fashion, we also never wanna use two hands on a pocket knife. We always wanna to try to keep that closed fist single-handed on the pocket knife. This is gonna keep the individual safest. And then finally it comes to closure. So we're gonna do the same process where we ended up. So when we opened it up, we had our fingers away from the close, the part where all the blades come out. We grasp, and then we grasp the blade itself. Now at this time, what we are going to do is we are going to push downward and break that knife in half. Once it gets going, what we would like them to do is open up their palm and place the knife that the blade of the knife and tip of the knife is off the side of their palm and push it shut. That's gonna keep their fingers from slipping or getting caught in between the blade itself and not getting them hurt. So super elementary when it comes to knife opening and bushcraft and that type of thing. But listen, pocket knives are a part of our craft out here. We all carry them, we all use them, and there are certain rules that we should be following with them. When you give somebody their knife for the first time and you walk them through this and you enforce those rules, it builds good knife safety, and then for the rest of the, their lives, they are going to be safe with a knife. 
So instill good practice in all those youngsters out there and get them involved in the woods because ah, it's, it's so great being out here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Share this video with them or you share the skill with them. Give them that first knife or maybe rehash all these skills with them if they already have a knife so they're safe. And then when you're out, you'll have a better time in the woods. This was Dan Walker, Cold Cracker Bushcraft. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. Till next video, stay in the woods.